In 2009, the federal minimum wage was raised from $6.55 to $7.25. Gas cost about $2.35 a gallon. The average house cost was $200K, and Jeff Bezos was worth $6.8 billion dollars. Fast forward 12 years later, Jeff Bezos is now worth $191 billion. The average house is about 500 k Gas is $4.35 a gallon. And the minimum wage is still $7.25. So the cost of living has gone up by 20%, but the pay that we're guaranteed hasn't moved, even though in any given state it has been impossible and it has been impossible for years now to live off of that pay, all because these people believe that a minimum wage shouldn't be a living wage. Isn't that interesting? I think that this is... <laughs> So this is one of the the kind of the problems here that we have, and like I understand only JS is trying to be nice here, but only JS doesn't understand things. I'm not trying to be rude. And... Okay, here's what we have to understand. So the the minimum wage was increased, and I think it does need to be increased, of course. But I want to explain something to you. We hit um, a crash, right? The stock market crashed. <laughs> That's what happened. And so what happened is diff things were difficult to pay for. However, technology services started to thrive because these are services that could displace workers jobs they could say hey we can uh we can basically automate your job away <clears throat> the raising of a minimum wage drastically could have had a profoundly negative impact of reducing the number of available low skilled labor jobs for people which for poor people is very important because that's what gets them out of poverty is having access to a job that will allow you to do so now the reason i say this is because if we drastically increase the minimum wage and i believe get the fuck out of here um hold on wage shouldn't be a living wage Right, and she's effectively advocating for 15-hour minimum wage here. Um, it's going to put small businesses out of business. Now, overall, it might be a positive, but here's the problem. Every single time we get proposed a, a, a particular thing, a, a particular solution that hurts poor people and helps middle-class people or hurts middle-class people and helps poor people, what you're doing is you're pitting these two groups together. These are not the problem. <laughs> these, these two people should not be pit together. If your solution pits poor and middle class people against each other, your solution is dog shit. I need you to understand that. Okay? And so that's why a drastic minimum wage increase is not going to be helpful. It's going to push uh, automation faster for bigger businesses, and it's going to price smaller businesses out of the market. Because even, if it, even though it's over five years, a $7.50 an hour uh, increase is massively huge okay and that's why i'm a ubi guy you redistribute your wealth pr proportion more comes from the top because top people at the top spend more and then you give it to people at the bottom thousand dollars a month that's that's the point that's the whole point um I'm always the opinion that if you can, can't pay a proper wage, your business shouldn't exist. Okay, I understand. No, I totally get that point. I think it's a reasonable thing to talk about. I get what you're saying. You're, I understand what you're saying. You're saying, hey, listen, if you have a business that can't pay a particular wage, then fuck that business. I get it. But the thing is, is that Amazon is eating up so many businesses. We've seen a 25% reduction in malls. We Our bookstores are like gone. This is because of Amazon. And so what ends up happening is if you say, if we go with that narrative, new businesses are going to be incredibly difficult to open. Established businesses can offset their prices in different ways. They hire lawyers to get them through tax hole, like tax loopholes. They're able to play the system. And so what ends up happening is that it makes sense what you're saying, but in practice, all you're doing is you're advocating for monopolies, bigger businesses thriving and smaller businesses not being able to stay afloat or even open up in the first place. Entrepreneur, entrepreneurship, am I saying that right? Is the lifeblood of our economy. 99% of our businesses are small businesses. If I don't think it's a reasonable thing to create, I don't think a reasonable um, solution to have is a solution that hurts small businesses at the expense of larger businesses. And so, but now we're displacing the responsibility of, no, 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 no. So now what we do is we say, okay, so what's the solution? We have a ground floor income of universal basic income. That's what I'm trying to say. So now you can get paid a, a minimum wage of seven dollars and fifty an hour, depending on your area. And I think that like we should slowly increase the minimum wage based on inflation. 
But now let's say you live in New York and you're making $15 an hour, full-time job. That's $33,000 a year plus $12,000. So it's at $45,000 a year. You usually you'll live with a partner. That's $90,000 a year in New York. That's livable, right? So that's what I'm trying to say. It's a better way to do it. Now you could say we should, now if you were going to say, Hey, we should do 15 hour minimum wage and it was government supplemented for areas that couldn't afford it. I think I might be okay with that. Um, that makes sense to me because, but like stressing the small business out is not going to be, it's not going to help. And these solutions are usually not thought of very well. And I find it ironic that it's a lot of people who are more left leaning, some of which are socialists and communists that are asking for us to implement a solution that rides through traditional capitalism. Hey, we should have people pay more money for thing or pay people more money, which makes sense. But that's a traditional capitalist solution, whereas a UBI is a less traditional capitalist solution. So it's a little ironic that people don't consider that as, as a solution. And that's like one of the things that I'm talking about, right? Um, so yeah, I appreciate her trying to raise awareness, but I don't think that she understands what she's saying. She just doesn't get what she's saying, right? 